Hi there. Welcome back to our last episode of Applied Machine Learning with Keras TV and Keras NLP video series. My name is Wei, and I'm a developer advocate in Google ML team. Today, we're going to cover a very exciting topic, text generation. Large language models are also rage these days, and the core of this large language models is predicting the next word or token in a sentence, which is often referred to as causal LM pre-training. Large language models are complex to build and expensive to train from scratch. Luckily, there are pre-trained LLMs available for use right away. Keras NLP provides a large number of pre-trained checkpoints that allows you to experiment with SOTA models without needing to train them yourself. For example, you can load the GPT-2 model by calling the GPT-2 causal LLM from preset method. Other than GPT-2, there are many other pre-trained models available, such as OPD, Arbert, Roberta, and so on. You can find the complete model list in the link below. Now you can call the generate method to generate text. We are passing in a string, my trip to Yosemite was, as a prompt, and the GPT-2 model will try to write coherent text based on this prompt. Note that it takes about 18 seconds for the first run. Let's try another prompt. This time, it takes only 1.7 seconds, which is about 10 times faster. This is because the computational graph is compiled by XLA in the first round and reused in the second round behind the scene. The quality of the generated text looks OK, but we can improve it while fine-tuning. But before performing fine-tuning, let's spend a minute to talk about the architecture. Similar to the BERT classifier we discussed last time, the GPT-2 causal LM model also has a preprocessor, tokenizer, and backbone under the hood, all of which can be easily loaded via a simple from preset method. For fine-tuning, we're going to use the Reddit TFU dataset so that the output will follow Reddit's writing style. Here's an example of the training data. Since we're performing next word prediction in a language model, we only need the document feature here. Next, we define a custom learning rate and kick off fine tuning using the fit method. It takes quite a little bit of time and GPU memory, but after it is finished, the generated text will be closer to Reddit's writing style and the generated length will be closer to our preset length in the training set. Another thing you can do is to run the model on mobile devices. You can convert the model to TensorFlow-Lite and run it on Android devices. We won't go into the details of implementing this, but you can find a code lab and a video below that teach you exactly how to do this. One of the parameters that gives you Final control over the generation process is a sampling method. Keras NLP offers several sampling methods, for example, greedy search, top K, and beam search. You can easily set the sampler via a string when compiling the model. By default, the GPT-2 model uses top K sampling, which basically means only sample from the top K candidate tokens. Or you can pass in a sampler instance like what we are doing here. You can find out all the samplers in the link below. So that's it for text generation with Keras NLP. We have shown you how to generate text with a pre-trained GPT-2 model and fine-tune the model for certain writing style. And you can even build an Android app based on this. Now we have come to the end of our entire video series of Applied Machine Learning with Keras TV and Keras NLP. There are, of course, a lot more you can do with Keras CV and Keras NLP than we can cover in this video series. I hope you find our videos useful to get started, and I highly recommend you check out our comprehensive tutorials and documentation to learn more. More importantly, I look forward to seeing what you build with Keras CV and Keras NLP to solve your own practical machine learning problems and deliver real-world business impact. Thank you very much.